Yes, now we will discuss about the hip bone. Hip bone is also known as inominate bone. Inominate means nameless. Why innominate? Because usually name given to a particular bone is depend upon the shape of the bone. Here hip bone has no any regular shape that's why it is known as innominate bone. And the term is os os foxa. Os means bone. Coxa. Coxa means coxa is a Latin word. Os is also Latin word. Os coxa Latin word. Os means bone. Coxa means hip. Coxa means hip, hip bone. If you see this bone, this is This is lactal view of the bone and here guys acetabulum. This is acetabulum from the articular surface of the hip joint. This is acetabulum. This is depression present on the lateral side. This is acetabulum. This bone is made up of joining of three bones. These three bones join. This bone is ilium, this part. So this is part of ilium. It forms about two fifth part of acetabulum. So this is acetabulum. This ilium bone forms about two fifth part of acetabulum. And here is pubis. This is pubis. This form the about one fifth part of acetabulum. And posteriorly here, posteriorly, this is ischium. So it forms two fifth part of acetabulum. So this acetabulum, which is which is article surface and depression on the outer surface of the hip bone, this is made up of three bones, ilium, two fifth part, pubis, one fifth part, this is pubis, this part is pubis, and here is chin, is chin, two fifth part. If you see an inner aspect, this is inner aspect, This is inner aspect. Here you can see the 
this part, and this aspect. You can see the junction of the ilium. This is pubis and this is ischia. If you see ilium, ilium has two ends. This is upper end, this is lower end. It has two ends and it has three borders. It has this border is anterior border, this border is posterior border. Yes, this is anterior border and this is posterior border and in between these two borders there is intermediate border. So this is intermediate border and it has three surfaces. This surface is outer surface or gluteal surface. This surface is iliac fossa and this surface is sacro pelvic surface. This is iliac fossa and this is sacro pelvic surface. This surface is gluteal. Now we will discuss details of the each part of the idiom. First of all, it has two ends. It has two ends. Upper end and lower end. This is upper end. If you see vertically, it is convex. This is convex. This is convex. And if you see from anterior to posterior side, it is like this. It can be divided into anterior two-third and posterior one-third part. This anterior two-third part is concave medially or inner side. This part, posterior one-third part is concave outward. So this part is concave outward, this part is concave inward. And to get two-third and posterior one third part. If you see this iliac crest, this is highest point of iliac crest, here is highest point of iliac crest. It lies between L3 and L4 vertebra. Between L3 and L4 vertebra, this highest point of iliac crest lies. This is anterior superior iliac spine. Here is anterior superior iliac spine. This. This is posterior superior iliac spine. Posterior superior iliac spine. This is anterior superior iliac spine. So this is anterior, this is posterior. Posterior superior iliac spine. And this is iliac crest from here to here. This is iliac crest. This is vertical sex, vertical part, vertical display. Here this convex. Anterior posteriorly, in anterior two third part, it is concave on inner side, and here concave on outer side. Posterior one third part. And here, about five centimeters from iliac crest, and this is iliac spine. From this point, about five centimeters of this point here. Tubercle of iliac crest lies. This is tubercle of iliac crest lies. This is tubercle of iliac crest. And if you cut here this part, here this part here, you will find this part has It has lips and this is inner lip, this is outer lip and this is intermediate area. So it has 
Here this outer lip, this is outer lip, this is outer lip, this is inner lip, this is inner lip, and in between these two, this is intermediate area. This arrangement is present in only anterior two third part, and in posterior one third part, this arrangement is changed. If you cut a section at this level, posterior one third part, yeah, this level, you will find. It is like this. Here a slope is present. So here is inner slope. This is inner slope and this is outer slope. So from here, this side, this is inner slope and this is outer slope. So inner and this is outer slopes. And if you see the attachment on the iliac crest, so here anterior superior iliac spine, here sartorius muscle is attached. Sartorius, it takes only from here. So sartorius, and here is position of tensor facial atta and the Tensor facial atta and this is external oblique. There is internal oblique. This is internal oblique. And on inner lip, there is transversus abdominis muscle. This is transversus abdominis muscle. And here, guys, here is gluteus. So here is latissimus dorsi. This area. This is the Edismus dorsal. This is the Edismus dorsal. And here, quadratus lumborum. This is quadratus lumborum. And in this part, here, in outer slope, gluteus maximus. This is gluteus maximus. And in inner slope, there is erector spine. Erector spine. So this is crest, iliac crest, and these are the muscles attached to the iliac crest. And another thing. So this is upper end, this is from the iliac crest, lower end from the two fifth part of the acetabulum. This is acetabulum. This is anterior border. This is anterior border. If you see anterior border, extend from anterior spine, the spine to yes, acetabulum. Here, this anterior border has anterior inferior iliac spine. So, anterior superior iliac spine. Here is depression. Then, anterior inferior iliac spine. This is anterior inferior iliac spine present on anterior border. And a posterior border, here is posterior superior iliac spine, and this is posterior inferior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. And important thing here is notch. This is known as greater sciatic notch. So this notch is present, and it extends from here to here. This is posterior border. Post, it extends from here to here, this posterior border, and this posterior border has posterior inferior iliac spine, and also a notch that, that is greater sciatic notch. This is greater sciatic notch. So this notch is greater sciatic notch. This notch. Here is notch is part. This is greater sciatic notch. This is greater sciatic notch. So anterior border, posterior border, now intermediate border. Uh, medial border. This is medial border. This is medial border. Here, this medial border lies between the anterior and posterior border. And 
can extend from the iliac crest to iliopubic eminence. Here is iliopubic eminence. So this, this is iliopubic eminence. So it reaches here. This is iliopubic eminence. Here, ilium, part of ilium and part of pubic bone. Here, for the eminence. So that is known as iliopubic eminence. This is iliopubic eminence. So you have seen two ends, three borders. Now, surfaces. This surface is between anterior and posterior border, outer surface, this is luteal surface. On either side, this is iliac fossa, and here also between medial border and posterior border, there is sacro-pelvic surface. This gluteal surface is divided into four parts by three lines. One line is here. This is inferior gluteal line. Here is anterior gluteal line, and this is posterior gluteal line. So this is inferior gluteal line, this is anterior gluteal line, this is posterior gluteal line. By these three lines, the surface is divided into four parts. These are four parts. And now, this surface. This surface is iliac fossa, or inner surface, iliac fossa. Iliac fossa form the False pelvis. It forms the false pelvis and lies between the, if you see the boundary, superiorly iliac crest and this is posteriorly medial border and anteriorly there is anterior border. This is iliac fossa. Form the false pelvis. False pelvis. True pelvis lies below this arcuate line, below to this true pelvis lies. So let's have that up. And now this, this part, this is sacro pelvic surface. So this sacro pelvic surface is divided into three parts again. Upper part, upper part has tuberosity. It is known as iliac tuberosity. Ili iliac tuberosity. This is iliac tuberosity upper part and in lower part here is this part. This is auricular part. This is auricular part. This articulates with the sacrum. Auricular part. And this part here, inferiorly, this part, this part from here to here, this is pelvic part. This is pelvic part. So it lies below the arcuate line, that's why it forms the true pelvis. So this is pelvic part. So this is all about the ilium. There are three bones, ilium, ischium, pubis, joined to form hip bone. And now we have this already discussed about the ilium. Thank you.